what is up welcome back to the channel triple nickel niner here so today i have a little bit of a project i want to work on this is my current collection of now rechargeable flashlights a few weeks ago we lost power for four days and we literally lit most of the house with rechargeable flashlights so as we were in the dark you know things just kind of go chaotic when you can't see especially at nighttime so i had this uh grip this uh tool uh bin out in the garage so we just kind of threw all the lights and the charging cables in this bin and they've just set like this until today so today I want to build a charging station for all of these lights. So right now in my collection, I have two of the HyperTuff rechargeable lights that also charge your phone. And I have a couple of these small, uh, I got these on an Amazon um, sale. It was like six bucks for the set. Um, they're just a, Amazon, I mean, they're good lights, but they're just an Amazon purchase. And then I have, those lights are the LeMaytec lights. Then I have several of these little cob lights that I picked up. I think it was like four or six in a set. I can't remember. I got a couple inside, but um, they're, we use these all over the place when the power went out. So a couple of the challenges that we're going to face here is the fact that number one, the cables that come with these lights are really, really small. And I was going to build like this magnetic uh, metal plate for them to like stick on and then put a handle on top and then just carry the lights that way but i can't because the cables are so short plus the cables on like the small cob lights for example plug into the side so i could easily stick this to something and plug it in from the side but i can't do that on these hyper tough lights so these are going to have to like because they plug in in the back that's where they're and the the plastic piece has to be open so these will have to sit like either like this inside my new uh, case or like this. I really like to do it like this because I would like to make this case big enough to where I can expand. So how I'm going to power this whole thing is I picked up this, this USB charger off of Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. So this is just a, a 10 port USB charger. It just, it plugs into the wall and this will be the main source of power for this whole setup. So I know what you're thinking. Triple Nickel Niner, why don't you just use this grip, this uh, toolbox? I thought about it, but I just don't like the shape that it, that it is. It's got the handle inside. I'd rather have the handle up here on top because I would like to put this kind of in the middle and I have the cord run through the, the back end. So the, the thought did cross my mind, but I also want my grip back. I use this um, if I need to just like grab some random tools that are not in my bag or in my, in my normal tool bucket, I'll grab this. Or if I have to crawl under my house, these are awesome. If you have a crawl space, you could just load up all your tools and crawl with it. So I had to think about this. And to be completely honest with you, I almost gave up for the day because I thought maybe, maybe I may have to go to town and get a couple of parts, but I persevered and I think <clears throat> this is what I've got going on. So I had this left over from another project. This was going to be my plate for my camera rig that I'm actually using right now. I'm going to link that video up in the corner here. I'm not using it. So this will be the plate that holds the cob lights. 
So with that said, if these lights had the connection on the side, I would not be having any trouble. I could have had this built in no time. But since their connection is on the side or on the back, that's making it harder to put them in kind of a stationary position on something that it's going to be carried. Um, now I could do something to where I just do one charging station for my cob lights and one charging station for the these lights because the reason why I say that is is because if I build if I integrate these lights in with this I won't be able to have room to expand so maybe this is like a two project because these lights I can easily make a rig out of a couple of two by fours to hold them maybe and i'm because i'm what i'm thinking about is is these need to sit in a pocket these need to, they need to sit in some sort of a pocket instead of being attached to something so these lights may not be included in this project because with that said if i'm just going to do cob lights then I can just use one two by four with the uh, with this charger. So I think I was asking too much of this project. Yeah, I think I was asking too much of this project because I was trying to do too much at once. Because I just think for the application, this will work better. Of these plates, just regular. Uh, metal plates from Home Depot, and I can use these in conjunction with my with my cob lights, so I can easily rig those up and maybe put something on the top here. So I think I think these lights are going to have to wait. This is going to be another time, but I can definitely get the cob lights. I think I can get the cob light charging station built today let me know in the comments what you think about these long form videos to where i'm solving problems i love videos like that uh, to where someone is working through an issue so and if you like this kind of content let me know by liking and subscribing and then hit that bell at the top so you can get updates when i post videos so anyway back to the build so I've got four of these lights and I've got two of these and they're pretty small. So here, we'll see here. Be awesome if I could go, cause I want to, I want to expand these two. So if I was to put Right now I have, I have four of these. So right now I have four. So if I was to line them up like this, screw everything down. There's one side of my, one side of my, my little charging station. So I think what I'm going to do is, is basically build a little tiny box and I'll have to buy more of these plates. I'm not a huge fan of these plates. I would rather use something different. Um, let me know in the comments what you would use, but um, I mean, they've served the purpose. I mean, they're metal. They're going to work. Uh, I thought about buying one of those. Um, dry erase boards that just has, you know, metal in it to where they can just stick to that. But, um, 
but yeah, this will just keep everything, everything intact. So actually I need to draw. So this will hold, this will hold the three. I can get four on, I can get two on each plate. So if I was to add, so if I was to make this, um, I mean, I still have a little room on top. If I use a two by six, I'd have more room, but I think that'd be a little overkill. So if I was to mount it like that, I'm going to go ahead and screw these in. And then first I'm going to mark where I need to. Okay, I've got most of it assembled. It's literally just three pieces of wood screwed together. It's really nothing like, it's really nothing to write to home, you know, to mom about, but it's going to serve a function. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and add my plates. And then at least I'll get one whole section. onto the actual mount. So here we go. There we go. Check it out. All lit up. I mean, it's not pretty by any means, but it's going to serve the purpose. It's going to keep all my cob lights in a spot where they can charge all the time. I'm probably going to tuck this under my desk in my office. And it's not exactly what I had in mind, but it's it's working. I definitely I definitely think there's room for improvement. I got one more spot down here for my last cob light that's inside. So, but anyway, let me know in the comments what you what do you uh, think about these videos. And uh, if you do like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it for this build. Until the next time, this is definitely definitely cob light station. 2.0. I, I could definitely see a 2.1 in the future because this is not the best solution, I think, but so far, yeah. Definitely, definitely have to um, maybe think of something a little bit better. So let me know in the comments how you would do it. This is Triple Nickel Niner. Out.